Well, today's storms impacted travel to and from multiple airports in our state. Helene's rains, winds and flooding have caused hundreds of delays and cancellations at airports all across our state. Charlotte Douglas International has seen more than a thousand delays and cancellations. Raleigh Durham International Airport and PTI have fared a little better with about 150 delays and cancellations at RDU. 40 at PTI. So your flight was canceled. You're wondering what does that mean for me now? Ginny Moore, a senior travel advisor with Cruise Planners, is joining us to talk about this situation and how travel insurance, you know, can really help when everything goes bad. She's also taking your travel related questions. You can text yours to 336-379-5775. All right, so Ginny, let's just start with this. Um, how people whose flights like were canceled, how are they impacted? What they what should they be doing? So first thing I want to tell them to do is do not call the airline. And I know that sounds crazy. That's what everyone wants to do. But you don't know the lines, the everything is crazy. Stay, stay on top of the app or their websites. That's when you're going to get the most accurate information. If you have a travel advisor, reach to the travel advisor and also reach out to the air, um, your insurance if you have travel insurance. They'll be able to reroute you. All right, I've had a lot more luck with the app instead of calling as well, so I get that for sure. So let's kind of talk about travel insurance. So if you happen to be in this situation, and we, we all may be in this situation down the road, so it's always good to know what to do ahead of time. What does travel insurance cover? How does it help you in a situation like this? So multiple types of travel insurance. One thing you need to make sure of is if you are um, planning a trip, you need to have it before a storm is normed or named rather. So you can't call today and go, oh yeah, I need travel insurance. Make sure you get it in advance. But what they can do is this would cover if you are delayed, especially in destination, additional nights in the hotel, it could potentially get you on another airline, all of those additional expenses. And in addition to the concierge service and your travel advisor helping you do that rather than you just standing in the airport with your hands up in the air. Okay, and I think this is like the perfect time to talk about because so many people take cruises. Um, and so about when you should arrive for your cruise. Always arrive the day before. <laughs> Just for this particular thing, because if you were supposed to like leave today or something like that, that would be a problem. If you're supposed to leave tomorrow, that might be a problem. So you really advise people to like really look at how you can get to that destination, maybe more than one way. Yes, exactly. So, you know, especially here in North Carolina, a lot of people are looking at Florida itineraries. So, you know, consider driving or that backup plan. Uh, but again, don't wait till the last minute. Even if you're going in the day before, get that early morning flight. Don't wait till the last flight out because that gives you more options. Okay, gotcha. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking your travel related questions. We're also going to be talking about where the hot uh, travel destinations are when we're thinking about Christmas and spring break. And wouldn't it be nice to think about something like that about now? All right, we'll be back in just a minute.